Hey everyone, this is Lady Beaver here, and today on our Nerd Ventures, we have some updated news on the new Disney minifigs. Now, I was super excited uh, when we first got the um, leaked box art um, for this series because everyone was talking that that it was gonna come out and gonna happen and then we saw it and then we were super excited but now everyone is even more excited with the with the images that have just been released but I'll be doing something a little bit different as well I'll be doing a top 18 yes I know there is 18 but I thought I'd do my discuss each individual fig um, go from my least favorites um, up into my my favorite so I do like all of them in their own ways um, and as I said this is going to be my personal top 18 you tell me what you like the best and what you don't like the best out of all of these um, down in the comments below but as I said it's my personal opinion um, and I'll also be doing a um, just a quick little thing on how you can feel the bags to um, basically feel what's in them so you can just basically which items that you need to get to feel to get that particular um minifig okay so let's begin as it as you can see this is an amazing group shot um it shows each every um each and every individual fig um in disneyland which is pretty pretty cute um and then we have an up close and personal um, picture as you can see you can see the Disney iconic castle behind and it just goes from there look at all of them they are just spectacular and yeah so now we're gonna go through each every each and every figure and pretty much discuss what they look like what I do like what I don't like and yeah so first fig is Mr. Incredible. Okay, so he is my number 18, um, but let, let's just go back and talk about why I like him and don't like him. Okay, yeah, he is really good. I do like him. Um, he looks like he has maybe jewel molding on the legs because I have seen on a few of the others where they don't have the printing on the inside, which normally means that it might not be jewel molded. But um, he looks good, you know, um, he is a bigger upper body torso um, character, so he does look a little bit out of place, but I like it and, you know, you get the cute little, um, like, propaganda for him and all that sort of stuff, but that's why I don't personally like him, but The Incredibles is one of my least favourite um, Pixar movies, so yeah. <laughs> But that's why he's number 18. Okay, so also how you can find him um, is definitely that two by two piece. Um, and also that he doesn't have many um, pieces as well. So he is a basic figure. Um, he only gets the, he does get one accessory, which is the fig, um, so the two by two. But um, that's pretty much in how you'd feel him. Um, so yeah, so with, our, with that, our next is... Syndrome! Syndrome, he is my, as I said, my number 17. Um, and as I said, I don't particularly like Incredibles. Um, it's okay in movie, but I like a lot other better um, Disney movies out there. Um, so let's talk about him. A lot of people don't like his new blue color, like this guy's blue colored eyes. I actually think it actually makes it, um, makes it a little bit different and all that. Um, he also has some arm printing, um, which is pretty good. And um, he does have that, that also that added accessory and a cape. Um, as a lot of these minifigs do not have an accessory to go with their figure. Um, he also has that pretty crazy hair, which is pretty good. I like the molding on this um, guy. He kind of reminds me of a Super Saiyan, I guess you could say. But yeah, that's why he is my number 17. And how you feel him, you would be feeling him from his 2x2 piece, like 
Mr. In Incredible, but also for his hair. Uh, that's the um, distinguishing feature with him. He is a basic figure, so that they're the two things you pretty much be feeling for uh, with this particular figure. Okay, with our number 16, it's Daisy. Now, I'll go ahead and say why I don't like all the molded headed um, figures. I don't think they look that great. It's hard to take something that's flat in 2D and make it into something um, that is 3D like this. And Daisy, out of all of them, is probably my least favourite. Um, Daisy never has a, her mouth open like that. I can understand why Donald does because, you know, he, he's normally posed with his mouth open um, in lots of photos and things like that. So I can understand that. But because they've, um, they're the same moulding, that's pretty much why it is my number 17. So she does come with a bow and... Um, and that's about it so yeah if you're going to be feeling for her um basically you have to feel for her her, the, her bow and um her head so basically as i said her head is identical to donald's so um you'd be you'll be feeling for her bow to distinguish her okay so next for our number 16 is mickey as i said i don't like these these molded um um, heads for these particular figures and I think the rest of his body actually looks um, pretty bad actually um, he hasn't come over from being 2D um, to 3D very well um, his body looks really odd being on a it's like the Lego body um, like I like his pants, that's probably the only thing that he's got going for him at the moment. <laughs> um, the rest of him, I just do not like it at all. I'm surprised to do, I, he, he, I probably could have put him down a little bit lower, but it is Mickey, he is iconic, and that's pretty much why he is number 15. Now to feel him in the bag, you're pretty much just feeling for his head. Um, Minnie does have the, the, the same identical head, but she does have um, different things to go with her. So on that note, our number 14 is Minnie. So as you can see, she looks identical to Min uh, sorry, to Mickey, um, except for a few different things. Now I do like Minnie, um, even though she has that awful face head <laughs> headpiece um i like i actually really like her bow um her torso is actually pretty pretty cute um even though it's gone doing that that weird transition of um the mickey skin uh, sorry the um the mouse skin that is black and then the, the white hands which is obviously the gloves so from going from pink to black does look a bit odd um but I like her skirt and I definitely like her legs. Um, the, the legs will actually be really good um, as like bloomers with leggings um, for maybe a female um, character if you were wanting to do um, different minifig builds. So other than that, um, yeah. So when you are feeling for her, you're definitely feeling for her head as number one and once you've done that feel for a skirt so that you're not not getting mixed up between her and mickey so on that note as i said we are going to our number 13. our number 13 is the alien okay i really really like the alien except we've already had him um he is an updated version um but it's just like, nah, well, we've already had him. They've already got the molds. They're doing nothing different. So that's pretty much why he is this low. Um, I, but I will say I really like his face. I love him compared to what he originally looked like. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to getting him because I, I wasn't um, in my Lego collecting phase um, a few years ago, um, whereas I, as I am now and when I was much younger. Um, so... 
but I definitely think he looks better than the original and I am looking forward to getting him so that's why he's number 13. Now to feel him definitely just feel for um, his antenna um, and his head. Um, he's it's definitely distinguishable. Um, other than that you could feel probably for his short legs but his head's just gonna give it away so uh, and now with our number 12 it's the Cheshire Cat. Now I know a lot of people were excited by the Cheshire Cat but I'm a bit meh you know because he is a cat and having this like yes he does walk on two legs and all that sort of thing but I don't know just the just the the Lego body build just doesn't look I don't know the, the, the feet definitely look fine it's just the body just gets me I just don't look, just doesn't look right um, but his head looks great and I love his tail um, now I will just point out he's the only one that we've seen a tail on so will Minnie and Mickey have a tail and some people have said that probably Donald and Daisy will have a tail as well but we are not sure yet because we haven't seen the reverse sides of any of these um, and some people have pointed that out that they probably will but who knows I guess we'll have to wait and see so with the Cheshire cat um, you're just looking for his head and his tail um, that's pretty much it they're going to be pretty recognizable um, if you find something that has a tail Feel for the head, for the little fluffy bits and the little two little ears, and you're probably frightened the mark money that it's going to be the Cheshire Cat. Also, that he doesn't have bendable legs. Um, so yeah. So with that, number number eleven, um, he's more up on the higher scale of these minifigs of the of the um, molded heads, just because it looks like Donald Duck. It's the, I think it's personally one of the only one. <laughs> only ones that look like how he should um he looks his face looks great his hat looks amazing his shirt looks awesome um i think he's the, he's the only one of those ones that actually looks like he could actually be in those clothes um and from the looks of it even though these are just like um these are art this is just artwork it looks like those feet are going to be um, dual moulding. So I know everyone loves dual moulding. So I'm sure they'll go crazy for these legs. And they're going to look cute as like maybe like a little um, like gum boots or something like that. So yeah. So how you find him is going to be basically just his hat. And he's got a, his head is identical to Daisy. So it's going to be pretty easy. Okay. So number 10. Um, now I absolutely love the genie. He is like the, one of the most iconic characters out of all the Disney movies, just because he, well, it's Robin Williams. So, um, I don't know. I did put him down lower just because, um, I, well, he is number 10 still. I think he looks great. He looks perfect. Um. I just think that with the head piece, the head head and hair, sorry, with the, the kind of like the hair piece that you put on his head, just looks a little bit off. Um, other than that, his face looks great. Um, he has um, the lamp, which is awesome. And his tail is just like every other um, genie tail out there. So really, it, it's also because um, he's a little bit lower just because he his body is like every other genie that we've had so far. Um, but we've got the extra little headpiece, so that is why he's number 10 and how you find him is basically his tailpiece, um, his lamp and his hair if you're really stuck. <laughs> so yeah, now for our number 9, Ariel. Now, I absolutely love that they've put Ariel in here instead of having the, the mini dolls. Um, I actually really find it hard to like the mini dolls i think they are cute and they have their own place but it's nothing like a lego minifig um so that's why she's my number nine and okay so what do i like about it i love her hair i love her tail because they've got the um the dual colors so it looks identical to how she does in the movie her torso looks great 
but that clam. If you're gonna give her an accessory, why didn't you give her something like flounder? Or just the fork where she brushes her hair or anything. I, so, I can't remember what they're all, all, all those names are or just uh, like anything. Not a clam. I just don't understand it. But I guess I understand in a way that they don't want to make another mold for an already expensive mini fairy figure series that's going to cost them quite a bit because the Disney license is their most expensive. So, um, but I love her. She looks great. Um, but you know, she is, she is only number nine because there's so many others that are just so much more I, I like personally as I said but how you find it you're just going to be finding the tail pretty much and if you get stuck on that the, the clam that's pretty much it so you could probably feel for her hair but her hair is like there is a few ladies um in this set that have quite flowing hair so um and but you could also find probably the little diamonds um, I know that they're pretty easy to find because they're normally in like the bottom corner or something like that. So, yes. So now for our number eight is Hook. Now, freaking hell, man. When I saw him initially, I thought he looked great. Um, he is probably down a little bit lower than where I would probably like him to, um, to be sitting. Um, but the reason why he's at number eight is, I don't know, his face doesn't represent him I don't think well like yes he has a menacing face but I don't know it just doesn't look really hook like um but I like it um that's probably the only thing I could probably say is they probably could have tweaked the face just a, a minute bit but his hat man his hat with his hair perfect his hook great he's even got um his rapier awesome I love that he's um his coat comes all the way down to his legs. Brilliant. I really, really love this figure. But on that note, how you find him is pretty much all I said. His hair slash hat piece um, and probably just his sword is um, all you'll need to find. His hat, well, his hat is going to be the, the main thing that you're going to feel first. And then just if you, if you're not too sure just feel for the sword and you'll be fine okay so number seven now i will say i love this minifig i just think he looks so good i don't like that you can't like that they didn't do dual molding for his legs as you can see you can see that he's got um white on the inside but everything else pretty spot on i love the patch on it his face looks great um, and his hair slash fez, brilliant. But this is another, like, with the um, aerial, like, accessory syndrome, I guess you could say. Why? Why add another lamp when Genie had a lamp? It makes sense that Genie has a lamp. Or it makes sense that he has a lamp and Genie has a, something different. He could have definitely had a poo, just... They, they already make a monkey um, part. Um, yeah, they could have just sprayed it a little bit different. Maybe just added a, a tiny different molding on it so that he had a fez. But um, yeah, I think he would have done a lot better with having um, a monkey instead of the lamp. And if they were going to give him the lamp and Genie not, probably the, the, um, the rug. I would have given Jeannie the rug, so um, the magic carpet. I don't know why I said rug. <laughs> but how you find Aladdin is the lamp and pretty much, yeah, d instead of having um, the Jeannie tail, um, just feel for his head, I guess, his hairpiece, because it's going to have the little fez on there. So that's about it for him. And now number six. My God, I was so excited when they had these two Peter Pan um figures look at him he looks so good he's got the best face he's got his little pointy ears with his hats and his um and the um, feather his his whole outfit looks spot on um and he's got the twin daggers which is great because he 
Well, he only needs, I think I thought he only had one dagger, but you know, whatever, it doesn't matter, it's just an extra. Um, I just think he looks just amazing. Um, and that face, I don't know, just something that draws me to his face. That's why he's my number six. And how you find him, his hairpiece is going to um, be pointed. Um, and then um, just feel for the twin daggers. That's pretty much it that you have to do um, for Peter Pan. So, our top five. Now, these were hard to put in order just because I love each and every one of these. So, my number five is Maleficent. Maleficent is probably one of my favorite all time villains. Um, I've always had a, like, Sleeping Beauty has been one of my favorite Disney movies of all time, um, at least Disney princess movies. Um, and Maleficent, just how she turns into a dragon, just perfect. Now, um, with her, you know, I like everything about her. She has her, she has a robe, she has a cape, she has her head, um, her headpiece, which is her horns. And um, she has um, the staff, so she looks pretty good. Um, I guess the staff, I'm pretty sure it has a round ball instead. Um, and I swear it was a different color, but I think she looks perfect just the way that she is. <laughs> and that's why she's my, my number fifth spot. And how you find her, God, you just really have to feel for it. The main body part will be um, the skirt part instead of legs. Feel for her um, helmet slash hair piece um, which is the little two pronged horns and her stuff so she's going to be super easy to find now number four and I stuffed up with how to do that <laughs> stuffed up my own thing but that's okay so as you can see it's Stitch um, Stitch is one of the cutest characters in all Disney films um, he is just adorable so he's my only one that's ranking high out of all the molded um head figures he is adorable you couldn't have done anything more with him he's got his little toes on his feet um and he's got his little notches in his ears so he is just too cute and that's why he's my number four and as you can already see how you can feel for him is basically just his head because he does have those big ears and just maybe feel for his legs if you're not too sure because they will not bend. So, now number three, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, is Buzz Lightyear. Um, he ranks up here probably solely because he looks so much better than um, his original um minifig form instead of having that gross molded head that he had he looks perfect now to be in my, my number three spot um basically everything i like about him from they they have it looks like they have changed the molding a little bit on his helmet piece it, it does look a little bit thicker than what it is but i guess we'll just have to wait and see um it looks a lot more vibrant than it originally did. Um, the molding on his arms looks great. On his legs looks perfect. Um, it looks like just a little bit of a, maybe like a, his little red laser over there and his expression on his face is just great. Oh, and my, probably my favorite bit is just to see the little curly swirly on his chin. So that's why he's my number three. And the reason, the, sorry, not the reason, <laughs> and how you feel him is just feel for the um the helmet slash wing piece because that's pretty much the only thing that you really need to feel for so um, there's no other accessories or anything in with this guy so that is our buzz light year so um so we've only got two more to go so my number two spot is alice um you know this is probably a little bit lower on some people's um list but i just think I've got probably a special um, fondness for Alice, um, you know, watching it as a little girl and wanting to be in the world that she was probably just holds that special spot in my heart and I just think she looks just so good. 
um, her new mold from what I can see it's a new molded hair piece with her bow just looks absolutely stunning um, her face looks just so sweet and innocent um, with that expression um, I love that she's got the, the skirt like Minnie does um, where it comes all the way down with an apron um, her little leggings with her black um, with her black shoes looks cute even though I, it doesn't have it going all the way in they probably could have done slight molding on that but I can understand why they probably didn't because it might have been a little bit harder than um, um, the normal molding that they do with um, the dual molding legs um, and I love that she has a drink me and an eat me how iconic can you get with with a minifig I just think she looks fantastic and that's why she's my number two and how you feel for her is basically just feel for a skirt and she's the only one other than mini so you're gonna find that pretty easy because you're not gonna find the mini head but if you're really stuck find the bottle and find the little uh, round um, one by one um, tile piece which is the cookie so super easy to find her actually all these are pretty super easy except for maybe um, Mr. Incredible I think and <laughs> okay so our number one spot is one of my all-time favorite characters out of everything and that's flipping Ursula look at her oh my god she looks so freaking amazing okay why do I like Ursula so much she's my favorite villain even though Maleficent is probably cl very close to being number one just Ursula is the all-round badass um, she is amazing look at that hair piece I really hope it's not rubber but I feel like it's probably gonna be I really want it to be its own solid piece it looks so good now we go down to her face look at the makeup it is spot on and that smile so Ursula so good and then we go down to her torso she's got the um, the magic um, seashell that glows if you remember the movie and then we have um, King is, it, is his name King Trident <laughs> he's trident I don't know I can't remember his name but we've got the king's um, trident because if you've ever seen the movie she takes it when um, she makes well when basically yeah when um, he basically gives in and to try and save Ariel she gets his trident um, and just that body piece it's so good so basically it clips in as you can see and it's got like her her little booby area and her little f fat tummy stomach area which is you know so good I'm glad that they actually added this in for her um, and then it comes down with the six tentacles um, as you can see she does have six tentacles because she has two arms which makes eight in total so this is just one of the coolest midi figures I've ever seen it's just absolutely perfect and I'm so glad that they've made her like they've given like it's just they've given her justice with how she looks and how they've molded her and everything like that and that's why she is my number one so yes oh my god so that is it for the Disney news and the what do you call it my top 18 with bag feel how to feel the bags um slight tutorial i guess you could say so yes um these are coming out i believe in may i believe i probably should have looked that up but yeah um so yeah they're coming out in may i'm pretty sure and these are just so we're so looking forward to these and I hope you are too um, in the comments below why don't you tell me what your favorite is what your least favorite is if you thought I was wrong with my <laughs> with my top 18 or not um, but yeah thank you very much for watching if you like this video please give us a thumbs up as I said comment down if you will and if you want to if you like this video as well 
click that subscribe button to keep updated with video more videos like this so thank you again my lovelies and we'll see you in the next nerd adventures bye